guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you were looking for a friendly, supportive worm community, you were in the right place. Today we are going to see the results of the packing blanket versus the African Nightcrawlers experiment, experiment that we did four weeks ago. I am going to continue to build the mass up in this bin after our very large harvest about a month ago, month and a half ago. And this feeding today is brought to you by Aunt Cece. She is such a good worm advocate. She, go, she moved away and yet she still manages to put everything back in the freezer for the worms and when we go have dinner or something it looks something like a soccer mom drug deal where you know she's putting her leftovers from dinner there and then she's offloading worm food into my SUV. Let me know if you have friends that give you worm scraps. You know, what do you guys do? Do you freeze it and then bring it over in mass, or do you guys just save a bucket and bring it over day by day or week by week? Okay, so let's take a look and see what these blankets are doing here. And I can see that they are definitely getting at it. You can see how it's kind of becoming shredded. And if you look at how big this um, is, I don't know how to say it. the fibers are broken down. This is actually worm poop. It's gone through once. Now that sounds gross to us to eat things more than once, however, worms do that. And the first time around with something really dense like blankets, uh, or packing blankets, or very thick cardboard, you will see poop that looks exactly like cardboard, only in tiny little pieces. So let's peel this back and see what they did with the food. It's been oh, about four weeks, three or four weeks. And you can see they're really getting in there shredding good, at least the stuff that stayed moist. And it looks like they have not completely trashed them yet, but I think that might just be due to the decline in moisture in the bin. I think if it had stayed wet enough, I think that they would be much farther along with that. So it looks like both blankets are, are similarly breaking down. It looks like they've eaten the top layer of it off and have left this other stuff. I can see I've got a, a good bloom of mites right here. And like I said, anything that did not stay moist has not started to break down, which is not going to be a problem for long because they are going to get a very wet feeding thanks to CC. So let me go ahead and put these fibers and stuff down. See if I can't get the dog to quit whining. Big, huge, wet feeding, frozen melon. So this should definitely distribute the moisture really well in here. I'm gonna spread that out. And since it's such a deep bin, I don't worry too much about it heating up because the worms always have some place to go a little bit deeper in. But also keeping in mind that we did harvest about 15 gallons uh, about a month and a half ago, I'm gonna give them some more bedding as well. Uh, first things first, more dry goods from the worm apocalypse, king cake mix. I'll shred that box up later, spread that out a little bit. And then I'll put that nice moist bedding that's been sitting in kelp meal. And hopefully that will make all of this disappear by the next time we're here. So this is about five gallons of shredded bedding and nice warm water and the kelp meal. And that kelp meal will help the microbes and everything start to populate the bedding here so that it can get broken down faster and turned into castings. Before you know it, it's going to be seed starting time. All right, well, if you like this kind of a system, I have a playlist right over here for the Fermi Bag Little Mammoth. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.